Hey, Laurel, while you're here, you? yes. um, I don't know if you know this. I, no. I mean, actually you do, because you're an avid viewer of this show. We all know that. Um, yep. Yep. So you know that viewers, every night, they go crazy for this segment. They can't, they can't get enough of it. Okay. It's, the interview segment. No, no, no. The segment coming up. <laughs> <laughs> they love it. They love it so much that they, it's like we're rock stars. Do you know how many, you know how many like panties and bras have just hit computer screens right now? Um, no. Am I supposed to guess? Is that part of the segment? That's part I'm going to say 56. <laughs> that is probably, uh, it's one over. Sorry, you lose. Closest without going over. Those are the rules. Well, all right. Sorry, Laurel. Well, well I guess we should probably get <laughs> see you later. <laughs> Shortest interview ever. <laughs> uh, Laurel, I think it's time to go to our first segment. Okay. What's happening in the world? Ah, uh, c- Corona <laughs> virus. Well, and you know, there are a few other, um, what's it called? News stories happening. Oh, thank God. Yeah. Are they good stories? Like, yay! Or are they like, <laughs> That's stories. up to the writers of this show. <laughs> and I don't, I think as someone that's been on talk show before, I think you know how this is probably going to go. <laughs> Bye. I, when did you install an elevator in your house? Uh, this is, this is how Memphis is. There are elevators oh, no. in, in the apartments. Yeah. I can just push a button. And now, before we get to the segment, I know that Memphis is oh, not the stop. same place as Nashville. No, it's not. But <laughs> I've never been to stuff. Memphis, and I've been to Nashville. So mm-hmm. it's basically the same thing. Um, no. But since no. you're agreeing with me that Nashville it's is not. Memphis, uh, nope. I, I flew into elevator. Nashville. Yeah. <laughs> it's jammed. Uh, it's jammed. I, in Nashville, I flew into the airport, and I landed, and I was walking down the little thing, you know, much like you would do in Memphis. Oh, someone got there first. Okay. And... Um, <laughs> And I was walking, and they would play a song, and then it would come on, and it was like, Hi, y'all. I'm Travis Tritt. Welcome to Nashville. They're the land of glory, or whatever. And then it would go into another country song. And then it would, the country song went in, and they go like, Hi, I'm Clarence Thompson, music legend, or whoever. <laughs> and then, and I thought it was just at the airport, but then I went to the Walmart in Nashville, and the same thing was happening. <laughs> yes, because Nashville is the country <laughs> music capital for right. some reason. I heard it on Diamonds and Rhinestones or some podcast. But yes. um, you know, Memphis, Memphis is the same is, place. No, Memphis uh, is where uh, Elvis Presley, uh, Johnny Cash, uh, Sun Records. Well, Elvis uh, probably Steve. still lives there. I've heard he's alive still. Probably, because uh, when you go to Graceland, uh, the the ha- the home of Elvis, they yeah. they can't go up on the second floor because somebody still lives there. Yeah, I I, heard, I saw a they video have- online one time, and they were like, "Look at the gardener. This is probably what Elvis would look like at this age." So the gardener <laughs> may be Elvis. He could be. It was a very well manicured lawn. <laughs> yes. I'll say that. Yeah. Because that's what you do whenever you become a giant star. You go, I'm going to pretend to die and then, and then just do the gardening for my house. I'm getting out of the game, man. Yeah. Uh-huh. All right. Time to get to what's happening in the world. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, I'm just going to tell you what these news stories, and if we feel like talking about them, we'll talk about them. Other than that, that's it. Okay. okay. Um, here we go. In an interview about the coronavirus, Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick of Texas said, there are more important things than living. You know, like not getting reelected. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. You either get busy living or get busy dying. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, Memphis, pretty shut down over there? Yes. Uh, the state of Tennessee is in a safer at home uh, and then that's getting lifted for this 
state, but then our mayor. Wow, this is fun stuff. Memphis fun. has two mayors. We got a what? We have two mayors. That's um, insane. One is for the city, and then one is for Shelby County, in which Memphis uh, is housed. So two country music star mayors is what I heard. <laughs> yeah, one of them. Yeah, Mayor Strickland. Yeah, Strickland. Really? That sounds real country music-y. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> don't remember the other guy's name. By the way, a viewer just put, <laughs> get busy, the mayor, <laughs> one of two. <laughs> Are they taking notes? <laughs> yeah, they are. They are making They're sure they stay notes. up to date with us. You um, should probably take shorthand, sir, <laughs> yes. or ma'am. <laughs> uh, let's move on to our next story here. So we don't, you know. Um, here we go. I don't want to mm -hmm. be too sad about two mayors. Uh, here we go. So Germany has officially canceled Oktoberfest activities in light of COVID nineteen. Yeah. But to be fair, it's not like anyone remembered how it went anyway. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, there's no difference this point. year, except you won't have a hangover when you wake up at a stranger's house. Right, exactly. I or don't write all these. There's some on the floor the of the brewery. Yeah. <laughs> these not worth it. Let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here you go. Hey, did you know this? <laughs> you ever heard of Donald Trump? Um, <sighs> Donald Trump boasts... That he may have saved mil. Uh, wait, he may have saved billions of lives with his pandemic response. Actually, I think you meant to say saved billionaires' lives. Yeah, I think that's you're <laughs> correct on that. That's that's more apt. Yeah. Well, I didn't mean to insult your president. I apologize. He's not. <laughs> I still, I can skin him alive. <laughs> <laughs> We're joking. Everything is great. Everything is so great right now. Listen, I always heard, and I always heard this in grade school. I don't know if it's true, but if you threaten the president, mm -hmm. that Secret Service will then watch whatever you're doing, which means uh, we may I have gained a few more viewers. <laughs> Yay! I did that. She's a bringer. I'm a bringer. Here's all your people. Here's Thanks, some more Secret people. Service. I hope they like jokes. <laughs> <laughs> they do in the prison I'm going to. <laughs> uh, we got two more here. Let's get it. 